Welcome back. A new research institute is being set up to accelerate the growth of interactive and digital media in Singapore. The National University of Singapore is spending $11 million over three years to bring together various fields like engineering and the physical and social sciences under one roof. The aim is to push IDM to the next level. In the last of our special reports on research, Satish Cheney takes a closer look at the latest IDM innovations. Multimedia sensing, that's what these cameras are doing, capturing every possible viewpoint to create a 360 degree perspective. So in the future, you may enjoy multiple viewpoints while watching a film. And mixing technology and art with creativity is what is known as mixed reality, a brand new field within IDM. This new twist to the classic Space Invaders allows you to play the game physically or via the internet. We're actually working closely with uh, Haogang Primary School in Singapore. And we've actually even installed a mixed reality classroom there. And it seems the, the biggest uh, commercial possibility at the present stage is this kind of technology for children, for learn learning applications. So NUS is hoping local SMEs will take advantage of the R&D. There are many emerging startups in Singapore that need help. In the interactive and digital media, the institute will be able to provide a test bed, will be able to provide the kind of manpower that could be hired by the startup companies. And we also anticipate that uh, some of our staff and uh, enterprising graduate students uh, will form spin-off companies. The institute aims to house about 160 researchers by the time its premises is ready in a year or two. And with the government's recent allocation of $500 million for IDM research, NUS has already applied for the first round of grants. The institute's operational costs are expected to be around $20 to $25 million a year.